So, you want to make your own game. Whether you're in Tinker or Scratch, when you're ready to go solo, you'll need to know these steps. What should it look like at the start? Where should everything be? How should sprites or actors behave? The concepts are the same in both platforms, so get to know the terms, but the logic remains the same. How does the first actor or sprite behave? Does it start with a start block? Or is it controlled by the player? Does it need to communicate with other sprites or actors to work properly? You can use sprites, actors, or background scenes from the library. You can use this menu to check out either backgrounds or sprites in Scratch, or you can import them from the media library in Tinker. You can also draw sprites, actors, or background scenes right in the platform, or even build your own character in Tinker. You can also create one in another program and upload it. You upload them like this. This is my personal favorite. Get creative. Check out tutorials on vector graphics in Keynote at the end of this video. Now you better click the next video on X and Y coordinates to really get gaming. The world is a bang.